Welcome back. The beach, yeah. Hey guys, Lady Death here. We're on Fallout 4 The Walkthrough. Yes, I have returned you to the series. You ain't long for this world. Before I go to 21, I want to see if you have the armor I require. Huh. The mainlander. Great. Fire your gun a few times and you think you're some sort of hero? This is our fight, our island, not yours. Hey, buddy. I was just trying to help. Charity makes you weak. Makes you need it more and more. Until you're starving from the lack of it. What happens next time when you ain't here, huh? For the next. Either us harbormen survive on our own terms, or we take the long walk together. So if you're here to buy some ordnance, do your business. Otherwise, take the first boat out of here. Before the children of Adam or worse get you. Yeah, I'm not Show buying this children Let's about. deal. Right now. You are not selling any of the ammo I want, but you are selling that ammo. Uh, uh, actually, you know what? No. I'll just buy these for now. Take it one day at a time. Mariner says the frog's alive. So mind what you say. Okay. Wait, do I have... No, I never did the quest. Alright, unfortunately, yeah. I... The bait shop's got it. Probably won't be able to save his life. We can try. Hey there. You another vulture circling over Andre's body? He ain't dead. Wait. No. <laughs> it's a mainlander. Well, welcome to my little clinic. If you need doctoring, speak up. I, I wish I had time for some proper conversation, but my work's never done. Who's Andre? Poor Andre is my patient over there. He spent too long a spell in the fog. You may think you know your mainland radiation poisoning, but we got our own special brand here. I know a few things about medicine. Can I try to help him? You say, what? You? Help? Well, poor Andre's got it bad. Good as dead. Well, I suppose there's no harm letting you have a poke. But I'll be watching you. Okay, let's see if I can. Let's take a look. Mm. Mm. Uh, let's see. It's insufficient. So I need two medical. Which I don't think I have. Nah, I ain't got any. I need to level up at least twice. And my intelligence needs to be at uh, what? What did it say? You need it there? Intelligence eight or medic two. Okay, so hopefully I can. What am I at with intelligence? I'm at five. So either way, either way, I would still need to level up two more times. Well, I can try. I can try. If I level up, wait, how far am I to leveling up? <sighs> yeah, quite far. Uh, we'll find out. I'll try. If I remember that is. But we are going to go speak to... Uh, I can't remember his name. I cannot remember his name. Everyone! Everyone! We're trying to have a... Bingo. Battles here. one with this. Yours... Shut your mouth! Open your damned ears! So the fogs are coming for us all. I can't see any better way of greeting it than to have another round. On the house! Yeah! Woo! Time to party! Here's some Mitch! Mitch! Captain Avery said you can get me to Acadia? Heard there was a scuffle out there. You get your hands dirty? <laughs> I'm done leading people to their deaths in the fog. Last fella couldn't keep up. Didn't last.
last five minutes. Can you tell me about Acadia? Strange folk like there. Call themselves synths. Seems to me they just want to be left alone, to live their life in peace. They've done some good turns for us Islanders. The fog condensers, most especially, wouldn't even be a far harbor left without those. Some parents are worried about their runaway daughter. She went to Acadia, and I need to find her. If someone's headed for Acadia, there's always a story. Yours worth dying over, huh? Trust me. I've done a whole lot more for a whole lot less. Clever in your words, are you? I could get you to Acadia, but you've got to listen to me. Go where I say, when I say it. Still won't be easy. You stock up on your necessities, Rad X and the like. And then the real work can begin. Let's go, Longfellow. Follow me. Okay, let's go. Uh, after I get to Arcadia and speak to everyone there, I will be coming back to... Arcadia is above the fog line on the mountains. It's a bit of a hike. You might want to take this for the road. Taste foul. Hard seems. times. But it'll help. Whoops, wrong part. Eh, eh fuck out of here. Um... After I've gone to Arcade. Old mountain trail where we're the After I've gained like nothing you've seen in the Commonwealth. Mainlanders think a dose of Radaway is all you need. <laughs> Tracks. Mm, fresh ones. Tracks. Peppers ahead. When the bullets start flying, find cover. Keep your head down if you want to live. Mm -hmm. Okay, as I was saying, before we go any further, after I've popped to Arcadia and spoke to everyone there, I'm going to be heading back to Far Harbor, and that's where I'm going to do the next few episodes. Oh god, you're so slow, old man. We ain't alone. to get rid of my rads. Oh, I'm gonna wait. You're not half bad in a scrap. Figured I'd have to take care of a lot of them. Might just make a proper Far Harbor woman out of you. <laughs> Bruh. Well, I am the general general of the Minutemen, so... A number on you. Get you all turned around. Does something to your brain. Trappers were mean to begin with, but now. I ain't scared of no fog. There's someone. Got you! Feral ghouls! That was refreshing. Here's the mountain trail. We stick to this and we'll make it to Acadia. Game trails crisscross the road, so don't be surprised if we got local wildlife to deal with. Ah, we should be fine. Oh look, local wildlife. Them puppies. 
We grow everything extra mean on the island. <clears throat> Still got a ways to go. We steer clear, but you never know. Thought crawlers aren't that bad. A young lad, no higher than your knee. Whole island was covered in fog. The fog eventually rolled back. People resettled, but they got comfortable. Started taking things for granted. Folk got short memories. All this has happened before. Gonna save her because I do have a habit of dying here. Which I want to stay alive, thank you very much. We ain't alone here. No ship. Found you. Come on in. Gulpers got a fondness for fresh water. A small gulper, like the ones in these parts, is a fair challenge. Now the big ones, they can grow two, three times the size of a man. Good thing you don't see too many of them. Guess we got no more. I had a bit of exercise, that. Fuck ghoul. I wonder if the crazy lady is going to be here. The main reason why I'm not talking is so I don't interrupt anything he's saying. to the damnation, old man. Well, what have we here? Another rad worshipping lunatic, that's what. Your barbs do not harm me. I am shielded by my faith. How about bullets? Faith shield you against those two? Oh, whoa, let's just settle down, okay? You're right, waste of ammo. Do not sully this one with your blasphemy, old man. You. I suggest you go no further. Acadia is a nest of snakes. Beasts that subvert the will of Adam. Yeah, whatever you say. Watch yourself, outsider. You walk through Adam's kingdom now. If you're done wasting time with a fanatic, let's move on. You gone? There we go. Up ahead, oh. the air is clean. No fog. Acadia is not too far now. He made it seem a super long distance away, but it's not actually that bad. It's just a short walk up the hill. Katie has already been watching us for a good spell. If you want to talk with them, just go inside. They'll be waiting for you. You need my help again. You come see me. Got a cabin just outside of Far Harbor. Good place to tool up your gear, get some rest, or get stinking drunk. <laughs> just make sure if you bring in a bottle of something strong, there's enough to share. Maybe later, Longfellow. All right. But I'm serious about the offer. You ever want to hunt the forests and waters of the island together, I could think of worse things to do. Keep saying to myself I should settle down someday. I think I missed the boat on that one. 
Okay, I'm gonna quickly uh, loot around here because there's always ammo and supplies to find. Plasma cartridges. I'm hoping I get to save Andre, but I'm not gonna hold my breath on that one. Talk to Captain Avery, yeah I will. We head now? Nope. Just looting, looting and more looting. Ten millimeter ammo. I think there's ammo up there. But hopefully I find some ammo that I need. No, I got plenty of ten millimeter. I swear there's usually a comic in it somewhere. Oh, I got that in the corner of my eye. Where's the comic? It's so fucking windy! Have I lost the comic? Has it glitched? Or am I just looking in the wrong... I'm probably looking in the wrong place, in all honesty. Either way, let's go into the building. <laughs> la 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 la... I forgot the, the loading screens. Uh, You know, when I first climbed this mountain, above the fog, huh. you've entered a place of clarity, Oops. understanding, peace. While you're here in Acadia, Synthkind welcomes you as long as you welcome us. I came here looking for Kasumi Nakano. Really? I'm impressed. Few would brave the kind of journey you had for the sake of someone else. Kasumi is here. She's safe and unharmed, and you're free to see her if you'd like. Before you do, though, tell me, do you think Kasumi is a synth? We're not answering any more questions until you play straight with us. Just who the hell are you, really? There's only one synth with that kind of face and a mind of his own. I only see him when I look in a mirror. Nick. It... It can't be you. Don't give me that. What are you trying to pull? I've never seen you before in my life. Please. If you're willing to give me a chance, I can explain. All right, Dima. We'll humor you. Keep talking. This all started over a century ago. When we were first created, we were prototypes, Nick. The first synths capable of independent thinking and judgment. Keep talking. One of the Institute's experiments had to do with how our brains could process personality. If we could handle individualized feelings and behaviors, I was allowed to develop mine based on experience. But with you, they wanted to try transferring an entire personality into you. It took several attempts before the personality imprint worked. I saw you wake up not knowing who or what you were so many times. I couldn't let them do it to you anymore. We were the only two prototypes they made. I literally saw myself in you, you were my brother, Nick. I helped you escape the Institute. We left together. If I were your brother, I'd remember. That's where you'd be wrong. This happened over a century ago. 
There's... there's only so much memory that can fit into the prototype brains we have. Ah, I've heard enough. I think you and I need to talk about this. Maybe not now, though. We'll talk later. This is a lot to take in. Nick, I don't need you to believe me. I'm just glad to see you again. Whenever you're ready, I'll be here. Now, about young Kasumi. It's important that you understand exactly why she's here. I asked you before if you think she's really a sin. If you could indulge me with an answer. Why are you asking? Because she came here with that very question. And the answer changes every part of her world. None of us take this transition lightly. She's facing the possibility of her entire life being a lie. That someone stripped her very identity from her and made her into something she isn't. I want you to understand that before you see her. She has a chance here to live as a synth, not hiding, not pretending to be something else. One more question, if you'll indulge me. You're here for Kasumi, but I suspect there could be another reason you came to us. Tell me, are you a synth? I'm a human being, not a synth. Are you sure? I don't mean to question you, but what's the first memory you have? I'm not gonna tell my life story to someone I barely know. Let's hear your answer first. I was in a laboratory in the Institute. They were pulling pieces of my head out. Something about wanting to test some neural process. That was every day for months. Strapped down, operated on, and then I was out. The Institute has fail-safes to strip memories that could identify where they are, how to find them, but I do remember being quite content. I was free. That is my earliest memory. Now, yours. I remember being in my house the day the bombs fell. We, we ran to the vault. We were frozen. I was the only survivor. No memories before then? Just a single day, and then waking up alone? We so easily accept what's presented to us as the truth, don't we? Isn't it funny how a memory can feel like a whole different reality? People, places, even sounds and colors can change. Or someone else has changed them. I won't lie to you. There will always be other explanations. Trauma, disease, the background radiation. They all take their toll on the mind. But I can promise you that we will accept you, no matter what you decide you are. Thank you. You've given me a lot to think about. I'm glad to hear it. Acadia is open to you. Feel free to walk the grounds. Introduce yourself to my co-founders, Faraday and Chase, and I'm sure you're eager to talk to Kasumi. She's usually working down below. Is there anything else you need from me? You should know. The Institute has been destroyed. What? It's... over? No more coarser hunts? No more slavery? But that also means the technology to make the synths is lost. Our origins have been buried. Not to mention the loss of human life. Sorry. I'm not going to judge the actions of someone who's wiped out a great evil. You have our gratitude. 
Is there anything else you need? Who are you? What's your story? I came to this island over a century ago, hiding from my creators, the Institute. But after my escape felt secured, I was left with nothing. No programmed task. No false memories. I spent a year just sitting in a cave. Just sitting. One day, it finally occurred that maybe I could decide for myself what to do. Who I was. I've been doing that ever since. Was there anything else? Tell me more about this place, Acadia. All I want is to bring as many synths here as I can, and give them a chance to know what they really are. To embrace it. Beyond that, we just want to live in peace. I don't have any grand plans for expansion. Just existing as we are now is enough. Was there anything else? So, everyone here in Acadia is a Sith? Yes. Either they were escapees we managed to find before the Institute could, or they were victims of a mind wipe, and we revealed the truth to them. You are from the Commonwealth, like Kasumi, yes? I'm sure you've had your own experiences with my kind. Well, I know Nick, obviously. Yes. Of course. What else can I do for you? I should get going. Of course. Perhaps we're in there a long time. Are you feeling all right? I'm fine. You worry too much. Sometimes I feel like you don't worry enough. You know we blew three more relays this week. I'm coming in. You stay right there. Okay, I will talk to those people specific. Uh, yeah, I will speak to those people specifically later. Actually, wait, I need the. I need this. We're gonna go talk to people. I assume you're not planning on staying long. Enough time keeping up with repairs before I'll probably be leaving soon. That's for the best. Acadia is only as secure as we make it. We take unnecessary risks, we get careless, and things can go bad. Fast. If there's a synth who needs a safe place, then we take them in. Let them live as a synth without fear. You don't fit that description. That makes you an unnecessary risk. It's nothing personal. Minimizing our contact with outsiders is just practice. Is there anything I can say or do to change your mind? Just don't cause any problems. Hey there. You want to buy something or what? You're a bit of a dick. Let's see what you got. All right. Yeah. Take a look. I have enough to buy that. So you're that new gal from the Commonwealth. It's so wonderful to meet someone from back home. I'm afraid Kasumi doesn't seem to want to discuss it, but how are things there? Getting better every day, I think. Oh, that's so good to hear. I would like to see it again someday, once things settle down here. Acadia is all well and good, I suppose. But honestly, it does get a bit boring. You're safe here. That's what really matters. Mm, I suppose. One could do with a little excitement now and then, though. Don't you think? 
I'm sure I'll see you around. Do take care. New girl, right? Must be, <laughs> because I don't recognize you. Look, I'm not anybody worth talking to. My head is killing me. Now's not a good time. Sorry, didn't mean to bother you. It's not your fault. You try having somebody botch a mind wipe on you and see how it feels. Then get back to me, okay? What do you mean, mind wipe? Oh, for fuck's sake. You're a synth on the run. You go to someone, you get a new face, and they wipe your mind so the Institute can't find you. Only somebody screwed mine up. <laughs> so here I am. Now just please leave me alone. I can't wait to get out of here and travel. Anybody else I need to talk to up here? You're new here too, huh? I mean, I haven't been here that long myself. Honestly, I'd be dead right now if it weren't for Chase. Turns out it's pretty hard to live as a synth in the Commonwealth. I'm sorry to hear that you suffered. Thanks, but it doesn't matter now. I'm here, and I'm safe. I'm never leaving. I'll see you around, okay? Uh, I know there's a couple of people, yeah. So, I understand you've seen a good bit of our island. What do you think? It's kind of beautiful in its own way. That's refreshing. Most don't view it the same. I'm glad someone else can see it. This island, with all of its danger and beauty, predates you and I. The ecosystem isn't what it once was. But it has adapted, and it will continue to adapt, long after we're gone. What's important, really important in the long run, is understanding it. And then, passing that knowledge along to those who will follow us. That sounds like a noble goal. Well, thank you. I wish more shared the sentiment. I should note that I'm not fully versed in human anatomy. But I'm your best chance of medical assistance should you require it. Since Dima has approved of you, I'm more than willing to offer help. I'd like to help you with your research. Oh, well, Oops. that's thoughtful of you. Hmm, okay. What can we have you do? There's a flower native to this island, a species of the genus Aster, that has survived remarkably well. It doesn't quite have the brilliance of color that I understand it once did before... Hmm. Well, before the war. I'm personally rather fond of them, but lately have been investigating secondary chemical properties they possess. If you could bring me additional samples, it would speed up my research. I can offer you a meager amount of caps, if that makes the idea more appealing. I have some flowers for you. I'm sorry, is this a joke I'm not in on? If you do actually find any, I'll be happy to take them. Hmm. Okay. Sounds like you got the all clear. So what's your story? I came here looking for Kasumi. Oh, isn't that sweet of you? That Kasumi's a good enough kid, I suppose. A little confused, maybe. But then, aren't we all? Not that anyone's asking, but I'll tell you. It all gets easier to deal with when you realize none of it matters. What you are, where you came from, let go of all that, and life gets simple. Is there anything you care about? I mean, staying alive is preferable to not. Beyond that, what's the point of caring? Anyway, lately I've taken to amusing myself with trading. Don't have much to work with, but I'm always happy to make a good deal. Let me know if you need something. I probably won't have it, but let me know anyway. Not today. Okay, then. Righty. Selling drugs, are we? Well, there's some more radix. Down to the basement we go. Oh, Christ. Oh, more ammo for my last minute. 
can't pick this. So changing that sight. So I got about two mags in it. Okay, I can use for something big. I will loot all this one day, but not right now. Katie is far away enough from the institute that we don't have to worry, right? Every day is a struggle here, but at least we don't have to hide. Kasumi, hello. Kasumi Nakano? Maybe if I reroute the sensors? Sorry, I'm right in the middle of something. I'm a detective. I was hired to find you. You... you're a what? You came all this way... for me? You left without telling your folks why. You must have known they'd be worried. Look, my mom and dad... Uh, I mean, those people that were taking care of me, they wouldn't want me back. Not if they knew the truth. What do you mean? I'm not their daughter. I'm a simp. I thought if I just left, it would be easier for them. How would that conversation have gone anyway? I've been lying to you this whole time. Your real daughter is dead and I replaced her? <sighs> I know, it must be hard for you. I just want to make sure you're here for the right reasons. Yeah, so I am. I mean, yes. I believe I'm a synth, but there's something wrong here with Acadia. There's more going on than just the refuge. I can't leave until I've gotten to the bottom of it. I've done enough running. If something's going on, then I can help. Just tell me what's happening. I don't know how you could. Wait. Wait, of course you can help. You find things, track down answers. That's what you do, right? That's why you came after me. What if I told you that there's a secret? A big secret here on this island. Something way more important than just one lost girl. What are you talking about? Where to begin? You saw all those computers that Dima's hooked up to, right? They hold his memories or offload data from his brain. Or maybe some combination of both? Well, Faraday asked me to help do some repairs on them, and... You know, I got curious. There's like a century's worth of life experiences in there. And that's when I see it. Data models Dima has been making. One was the fog taking over Far Harbor. Another was a nuclear detonation on the island. Plus, death counts. What if Dima is so open and welcoming because he's actually hiding something from us? A plan to wipe out the rest of the island. We should get to the bottom of this. If Dima is putting on an act, we need to know. I'll help if I can, but that's not much to go on. I know. I've been working on that, but I haven't had much luck. I keep seeing Dima, Faraday, and Chase head into the laboratory at the other end of the hall. Then they come out later looking like they've been arguing. There's actually a storage space right next to there. It'd be a perfect spot to hide an eavesdrop, but it's been locked up. I've also tried breaking into Faraday's terminal, since he and Dima are so close, but the security on it is crazy. Eavesdropping on the next meeting sounds like our best bet. I'll see if I can find a way inside that room. Okay. Good luck, and come back as soon as you found anything. From one case to a new one, it's never easy for us, is it? Okay, I'm going to head outside, talk to uh, Nick, and then I will end the episode here. And I will pick this up in the next episode. There's a lot of talking, not much in the way of like action and stuff like that, but 
We did find out some impression. Hey. Go ahead. What? Oh, sorry. Just got my head full of what Dima was talking about. It's a bit of a shock. Who do you think he is, really? Family? Before I answer, are you okay? Yeah, I'll keep. Don't worry. I just need to figure this all out. It's hard to deny it, Nick. Similarities are pretty obvious. I spent a long time wondering if the Institute had made any other prototypes. If I was just a failure, or they gave up, or just plain got bored. I always thought I was just more of their discarded trash. I never thought of the possibility that someone wanted me out. Helped me escape. There's got to be some kind of proof out there. What really happened between me and Dima? I'd appreciate it if we could keep an eye out. Of course, Nick. We'll find something. Thanks. I know we don't have much to go on. Just keep me in mind if you find something that might give us some answers. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave this here because the next time we do this, we'll come on here, we are going to help out Far Harbor. So, uh, I don't know how frequent these episodes are going to be. At the moment, I'm in a hardcore Fallout mood for times a week. Depending on how long this uh, uh, fallout madness is going to last. But thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you comment, like, and leave that subscribe button. I have been Lady Death, and I'll see you for the next one. Cheerio, and goodbye.